What's up guys? We decided to do our project on coral reefs and coral reef bleaching. This is the process of building a coral reef and representing the negative effects that happen when a coral reef bleaches. Coral reefs are a biological masterpiece. They are the most diverse marine ecosystem with about one quarter of all ocean species relying on them for food and shelter. Corals live in both deep and shallow water. We are most familiar with the shallow water corals that form reefs. To represent this, we painted our own masterpiece. Shallow water corals have a mutualistic relationship with single-celled algae called zooxanthellae. They photosynthesize and share some of the food with their corals, and in exchange, the coral gives them some of the nutrients, as well as protection in the calcium carbonate skeleton. This relationship allows for shallow water corals to grow fast enough to build what are known as reefs. In addition to nutrients, the zooxanthellae also give the corals the vibrant colors that they have. However, zooxanthellae will leave corals if they are put under sufficient amounts of stress from factors like ocean temperature and pollution. Even in this relationship, it still takes corals a very long time to create the structures that are familiar to us. The fastest growing corals can grow at a rate of approximately six inches per year, but most grow at less than one inch per year, even with these ideal conditions. However, this is only for individual corals or corals in a colony. For reefs to grow, corals must die, break into smaller pieces, and be compacted. For the Great Barrier Reef, the living structure as we see it today is between six to 8,000 years old as it began forming after the end of the last ice age. Coral reefs, as you can see, are a breathtaking sight, but they take a long time to form and they rely on a delicate relationship with Zuzi and Sally to survive. Here's our final product, which took us about 50 minutes to complete. To represent coral bleaching, we took a bottle of Clorox bleach and used it to destroy our masterpiece. The delicate balance of the relationship between corals and zooxanthellae has been put in jeopardy. Rising ocean temperatures from climate change have put stresses on the relationship between the two. When the water temperature rises more than two degrees Fahrenheit above normal seasonal maximum variations, bleaching can occur. Bleached corals do not die immediately, but if the temperatures stay too hot for too long, the zooxanthellae can't return and the coral will die of either starvation or disease. Zooxanthellae provide corals with 90% of their food and without them returning relatively quickly, they will die. <laughs> Unfortunately, when testing out our method, we only tried the blue paint. All of the other paints remained vibrant, so we decided to switch methods to hot water. This gives a better picture of what bleach corals actually look like. Bleaching has become very severe in the Great Barrier Reef. Bleaching in 2016 killed between 29 and 50 percent of the reef's coral. In 2017, the bleaching expanded to the central region that was spared in 2016. Between the two years combined, approximately 50% of the coral cover in the Great Barrier Reef has died with the northern third losing as much as 90%. What has taken thousands of years for nature to build has only taken two short years to have half of it destroyed. <laughs>